Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. A surprise development in the WBO rankings with former WBC champion Deontay Wilder rocketing up the latest iteration of the top 15, now in fourth spot, up five places from January. So these rankings are for February 2021, yes, that is for the correct month, the WBO for some reason is operating about six weeks behind his only just updated their rankings they've moved wilder up into fourth spot so that's the major talking point from the top 15 there are a few other things that we'll go through but you have to ask the question well what is going on here Deontay Wilder has not been in the ring for more than 12 months now if anything he should be sliding down the rankings not going up them but you have to ask the question is he about to enter some sort of fight where something is going to be on the line and the WBO is positioning him? And yeah, I mean, that, that has to be the question asked here because um, voluntarily, would it just put him up there or it has uh, been a pay for play situation, which with the rankings so often is not necessarily always on merit. And there has been the talk that uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. could potentially face Deontay Wilder later in 2021, potentially in a pay-per-view event. And for me, that fight makes complete sense for both guys and especially for the PBC, because that's the biggest in-house fight that can be made and probably bigger than any in-house PBC fight uh, at heavyweight that they've had in recent memory. So Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz would be the last one that would sort of, um, you know, generated any real sort of interest and pay-per-view interest. And obviously for Deontay Wilder, his rematch with Luis Ortiz was on pay-per-view. But I think uh, Ruiz and Wilder, should Ruiz beat Chris Ariola, and is Deontay Wilder returning to the ring anytime soon? Based on this ranking, you'd have to say yes, that's a great fight, and I'd really like to see it. Uh, but what is Deontay Wilder going to do immediately next? And that's the question. There's still this whole arbitration sort of situation with Tyson Fury sort of swirling around. And say, for example, if the arbitration doesn't go his way, he doesn't face Tyson Fury, would he really want to step straight into an Andy Ruiz Jr. fight later in the year? You'd imagine not. So is there another fight going to be on the horizon for Deontay Wilder? And if so, what's that going to be? It could be a name in the WBO, it could be a name in the WBA or somewhere else. Bearing in mind, Bogdan Dinu just um, somehow, you know, miraculously got to number two in the WBA without really doing anything at all. So lots of questions, very few answers, but very interesting news nonetheless. So Deontay Wilder, the, the benefactor for the month of February 2021 from the WBO. So we'll have to see what next month's rankings bring, which will be for the month of March. Anyway, moving on. So the top 15, actually pretty stable for the most part in the sort of top seven or eight. You have Alexander Usyk at number one, Joe Joyce at number two. They're potentially going to be fighting, but it's got a little bit quiet about what's actually going to happen. You've had Usyk's manager um, coming out saying, well, actually, we really aren't close to making a fight at all. Joe Joyce, uh, his side, sort of saying some news is coming soon. So we'll have to see where things go with that. Uh, number three is Joseph Park. So he solidified his position after beating Junior Farr, his domestic rival. That was a fight that was held in New Zealand. He picks up the Oriental strap. There were a number of people who were saying that Parker would leapfrog Joyce, but it has not happened. So Joyce and Usyk, that pretty much looks a lock if it is going to go ahead. There is going to be no sort of um, sort of vacant title shot or interim title shot for Joseph Parker at this point. Some people were thinking that was going to happen. Has not come to pass. Andy Ruiz Jr., he is actually down a place uh, to number five. He had been at number four spot last month, usurped by Deontay Wilder. Then you have uh, Frank Sanchez, Michael Hunter, Zhang Gilet, all in the same position as they were a month ago. Go. Then we get to Yevgeny Romanov, the Russian, uh, Daniel Dubois, Filip Hergovic, Dempsey McKean, Arjit Kabayal, all up a spot this month. Then we have at number 14, Ali Aaron Demerijan. So he comes in after his most recent fight where he picked up the WBO Europe title. Pretty nondescript fight in the end. And Tony Yoka sneaks into the top 15. And interestingly, Derek Chisora, who was at 15th in the last iteration, gone altogether. So Tony Yoka, he also fought recently. Uh, and another thing of note, Junior Farr, who previously had been at number five, lost to Joseph Parker, 
gone from the top 15 altogether, which when you consider, say, Daniel Dubois still hanging around after his loss at, at number 11, uh, number 10 here, I should say, got to feel for far somewhat, he's been uh, dumped altogether. But Deontay Wilder, the big winner in this month's rankings, drop a comment loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared, I'm out.